Hello everybody, I'm back again. So today I am working on a new project and um, I thought I'd share. This is a um, idea that came to me from this little book thingy that I got at the Dollar Tree, which I tried to take that sticker off and yeah, it didn't work. So yeah, I gotta figure that out. But anyways, it's uh, like a little wallet. You have your let me see, you have your little pockets here to put your little stuff. I bought them for ephemera, so pop those in there. And then uh, here, and then here. And then you got another one, and you can pop stuff in here. And then this one pulls out, so I guess for bigger stuff or stuff in there, stuff right here. And then um, on the back, you don't have nothing. <laughs> But, um, or you could even pop them from up here, too. Oh, anyways, yeah, you guys get it. This is, you know, I thought this was a cool little, little, um, little, um, notebook thingy. So I decided to do a journal out of it. So put that away. So I went ahead and got a manila file folder, and this is the regular size. They're 13 and a half by nine. And so I went ahead and measured it, um, but I, I'm doing mine a little bigger than than the, the width of this. And uh, it's a five. And then I left half of an inch in the middle. And then another five here, another Okay, let me explain this better. I scored it at five inches. And then I left the half an inch and scored again. And then I did the same thing on this side. But then I ended up doing a third score line. Ah, I got it. Sorry, guys. A little gnat or whatever flying around in here. So what I did is uh, in between this um, half inch, I scored another line. Just to... Uh, I don't want my journal square I guess is what I'm trying to say I want it to go in, uh, around so that's why I did an extra score line just to you know get that little thing going there also the middle line is exactly where I'm going to sew in my signature or my or my pockets whatever I'm going to do which I'm doing one of each <laughs> one is going to be something similar to this and I'm doing a journal also in the same format so anyways, I thought I'd bring you guys along um, just in case, you know, you guys see the finished product. You guys want to know how I put it together. I figured, well, let me do it, you know. So, yeah, this is my first, um, what do you call it? My first, um, oh, and I distressed it already. <laughs> Only from the outside here, just on the inside. But it's, this is my prototype, I guess what I'm trying to say. I took the little metal thing off also, and then I sealed the, the envelope together. Because I'm not going to use that pocket. It, it's going to be up to here. That's a very tiny pocket, so no. Anyway, so this is what I have. So now I'm going to use my awesome, beautiful paper. And I am going to use this paper. Now this paper came from... I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it right, but it's the Seneca Pound Seneca Pond Crafts. Ah, I keep saying pound. Um, and um, I purchased a kit from her, which is the one I did the uh, latest journal, and I got this for free. And it's called the Grungy Chip uh, Cardboard Kit. So it's beautiful. I love it. I already got my pages cut out and everything. So yeah, I'm gonna do this. So, I already folded my thingy. So now I am going to, now this is going to be our front pocket. So I'm kind of liking this one. I like the whole little button thing going on there. But I'm going to probably center that. So, where's my pencil? And I lost my pencil. I'm actually doing a journal also, which I've started that one. Oh, there it is. I started that already. 
and it's chilling over there. I'll show you guys in a little bit how that one's going. But this one, I actually want... I actually want... Um, I'm wondering if I should just cover the uh, binding side. Um, see, it's a prototype, guys. Sorry. It's a lot of thinking that's going to be going on in this video. Um... Or do I want fabric? I may want um, like a lace or something after I sew the, uh, the stitches. Yeah, okay, I'm going to leave this binding. This is where our signature or our pockets are going to go in. So I'm going to leave that alone because I want to sew in my stuff and then um, put some, some uh, nice lace or something. So what I'm going to do is, I don't even know why I... Actually, no, I want the border. <laughs> Sorry guys, see, this is what happens when you're doing a prototype. Okay, so I want this in the center, so I'm gonna go there. Okay, maybe a little bit down, right there. I'm gonna grab my pencil, and yeah, I think I'm gonna go for a little border. So I'm gonna go there, and I'm gonna go there. So I have my paper trimmer here cut those pieces off save those because we may be able to use them later whoops where's my pencil mark right there right there now I just need to whoops wrong side I just need to figure out my this side here so I'm gonna say there and, and I am really blind where is it there it is <laughs> I hope everybody's doing well I'm uh, doing fantastic because I am doing a new project and I love doing new projects starting new projects that's just like a thrill to me So, yeah, guys, I'm a little excited. Okay. Move that out of the way. Now let's get our glue going. Make sure I'm in frame. But yeah, I really like those little envelope thingies. I'm like, oh, those are so perfect for, you know, ephemera. But then I started thinking like, ooh, that's a good idea to make a little journal like that. Or a little, um, what do you call those? You know, just like, um, uh, the word's not coming to my head, but you know, not a journal, but you know, you could have a little journal in there, but have just like little pockets and stuff, um, uh, and decorate it. <sighs> Maybe I don't, I'm not making sense right now, guys, but you'll see it once it's coming along what's in my head. It's hard to explain it. Okay. Then I'm definitely going to sew around it. I like that it has a little sewing going on right there. Yeah, this is really pretty paper. I liked it. So, that there. And I'm going to call it a little design team. Um, design team. Um, okay, this one, like I said, I'm not going to cover this, but I am going to cover all this. So I'm just going to lay this one. Ah, but I like the paper. No, okay. I'm going to start from over here better. Because I want the, the little, you know, newspaper stuff there going on. So we're going to have to do it on this side first. And just to get my, where I need to trim it. 
actual from there and there now if we bring this all the way over here to like I said I want a little border then I know I need to cut right there okay so back to this But yeah, I think I'm going to go back to, um, to big, uh, big lots, to, um, uh, oh, genius. You guys know what I did wrong. I know you guys know. I should have cut it, cut this in first. So I lost my mark. But uh, yeah, I need I need to go buy some more of those little folders. I thought those were so awesome for ephemera. Like I said, keep your stuff in order. Even if you go, I don't know, out somewhere and you want to take some stuff with you, just pop a lot of ephemera in there. I think those are so cool. Okay, so now we need to cut our little thing here. So I'm just going to use my pencil. And kind of mark where I think I need to do the cut sorry guys if my big head comes out okay let's see if I got it right if I don't it it's okay it's just paper and I think I already got that one wrong I think I went too much But if we get it wrong, that's okay because we could always, you know, add some awesome lace. Or we can trim this to fit our needs. That's also another option and that's probably what I'm going to do. Because, you know, it bugs me. It bugs me. <laughs> so, yeah. We are not going to ruin this beautiful paper. We're going to make that uh, envelope work with us. Okay, so now it's glue time. Move this out of the way. And I'm using tacky glue for this. Ah, uh, come on. And I wanted to thank all of you guys who gave me a lot of input on, um, ah, there's another one, on the restless legs um, issue that I have. I really thank you for that. I thought it was just crazy me, but apparently it's a, it's a thing. <laughs> And it's annoying so yeah I'm definitely gonna look into it and I'm definitely gonna talk to the doctor about it I have an appointment with my therapist I thought it's regarding my you know anxiety and all that but now it's got me thinking that maybe that's just something else aside from that okay let's bring our piece back and right there yeah see I didn't do a good job right there that went a, li a little crooked <laughs> but that's okay like I said I could always add ephemera but here I mean ephemera yeah see look at this side but I'm going to cut this a little bit just to you know not draw the eye that oh she screwed up right there you know what I mean 
So I'm going to fix it where it looks nice. <laughs> so there, I like that better. And like I said, I'm going to be adding some lace. So all the other little, you know, discrepancies that I made can get um, covered. Okay, so that's my outside. This is going to be my cover. That's so cute. So now we need to cover, fill the inside before we um, start working on the pages and stuff. So I definitely am going to use this paper. So I'm going to go there and mark it. I hate when my well, this one we can go all the way although okay I'm just gonna go up to no take it back I'm gonna go right here I'll probably put some lace on the inside as well so pop that there so then this one it's going to go here and does that matter if it's no, I'll, I'll actually measure it from here. And I gotta make sure I, I get it I get it better on this side because I can't cut it no more. <laughs> okay, so get that one out of the way. Let me cut this one. Where's our mark, guys? Are you serious? I can't see it. Oh, wait, it's on this side. Oh, my God. Sorry, guys. See? That was a patty moment. <laughs> no, I didn't. Where is it? Okay, I'm going bananas here. Where did I mark? Okay, so we got some serious problems going on here today. We set this there. Yeah, I don't know what went wrong, but something did. So we'll just do it again. I'm just going bananas is what it is. right there okay so let's distress the edges real quick This one I can't distress it. I still need to cut that. It's okay. Let's go back. Put you over here. Let's go back to this one. And we said here, right there. Okay, so I'm going to say there, paper trimmer. Okay. Now, put it back here again. And let's see if we can get it right or better this this time. So, I'm going to say here. And here. Okay, wish me luck, guys.
Yeah, that's much better. Bring this back over here. And distress our edges real quick. over there so now let's start gluing these down one of my one of my lamps went out and uh, I bought light bulbs and they were the wrong ones I went to another spot and they were the wrong ones this was a lamp and it was an old lamp that was gifted to me by my one of my neighbors but it you know it gave good light and um you know i went like i said to two places got two different types of light bulbs finally i decided to turn it around and look under it and there you have it there's the size of the ball light bulb <laughs> So then I go again back to that hardware store and they didn't have it. So he's like, oh, you could order it online, you know. So I did. Finally got the right ones. I think I paid eight something on Amazon for three of them. So I was like, oh, cool, I have extras. So I bring it home. And I put it on. And the lap doesn't turn on. <laughs> When I would put the other ones that were not from there, you would get a little light. The Like the light bulb would turn a little bit. And now that I put the correct one, well, nope. It didn't want to work. So, yeah. It was a waste of money. Paid five something for one. Paid five something for the other. No, eight something for one in Walmart five something at that warehouse and then the eight something and all for it not to work and I really like the lamp so that was a that was a bummer but that that leaves me without a lamp so I need to get me another lamp because I'm blind as it is you know and then I videotape so I gotta have good lighting and um, I feel like it's a little bit dark on my videos, but yeah, I need to I need to purchase a lamp, guys. Okay, make sure they're down. Okay, so that's what we have right now. Now comes the. I'm not gonna fold this just yet. I'm gonna let the glue dry, and then I'll enforce my score lines. Let me put the pin back in there. So now this is the part where we're going to figure out our little pocket situation in here. <clears throat> now, I'm thinking of using cardstock. Or, I'm wondering if uh, even using the same kind. That would be an idea too. This is another one I have that I already scored. But I'm thinking, yeah, you know what? Let me get up real quick and get an extra. An extra of those um, folders. Get two of them. Okay, I got four. <laughs> These were gifted to me from Miss um, Debbie Ham on Facebook. And I, I'm not sure if she's on YouTube, but they were gifted to me from her. So, okay, take that off. That way we don't have too much bulk. So what I am thinking, I do have to trim it or just leave it the same size. I don't know. Okay, so if we scored at five, let me get, oops, and I have this, I don't know where I did with my other Martha Stewart large scoreboard. I need to find it. 
for big projects and um, yeah so I'm gonna score at five and I only can go so far now okay I think only that score line for now I don't want a spine at least I don't think I do And this okay if I put it back in here I would like to use this as a pocket so I'm probably going to go to a four And I'm just going to pop it there. Okay, so this one, oh, and then I'm going to close this one. I'm definitely going to use a pocket on this one, so I'm not going to glue it. Because we like pockets. So that's going to be like that. And that's going to go in here. But that's not enough. So we're going to grab another one, take this thing off, turn it this way to use my nail to press down around the, the little thing here. There you go. Take this off. So again, I'm just going to start by closing my little pocket that I know I'm going to keep. Ah, sorry guys, that little... Thing. It's already late and I just have all these bugs and um, it, it annoys me. Okay, so this one, again, at five. And then bring it back to there and... Yeah, score it at four again. Ugh. Sorry, guys. Okay, I think I won't need this no more, so let me just throw it back over there. Move this out of the way, and let's enforce our little score lines here. Sorry for that noise. And then this one. Okay, I don't think I did that straight. It's still coming out long. I think I got a defective one, but that's okay. We'll just cut it off. Okay, so now let's bring this back and bring this one back. So now this is our first one that we did. So this is going to be a pocket. So I'm going to leave that like that. And actually, I'm going to use a little paper clip just to keep it, keep it closed. So it doesn't get in my way for now. And this one, we're going to do the same thing. Just to get it out of our way. So this one, I want it like this. And then this one, I'm going to flip it the opposite side, I think. And I'm going to put it like this. No, I want the... No, that's... See, this is now, you got to decide. Do you want the small pocket on the front, or do you want the large pocket on the front? Decisions, decisions. Okay, I'm gonna get the big pocket on the front. Let's see. Watch me change my mind again. <laughs> okay, well, before we get to that step, this is where the signature would be, right? Yeah, we're good. 
Now, do I want to trim it or leave it all the same size is the question. On this one, it looks like the pockets are a little bit smaller. Just a, a dab, not too much. So I think I'm going to trim them just a little bit, especially because one of them is a little off. This one. Uh, oh, and that one too. I didn't even notice. So yeah, let me trim those and then we're going to put it together. Let me get this one so I can just cut it while they're folded. So make sure over here we're good. So I'm just going to do a hair, basically. Maybe, what, a one-eighth that I'm cutting off. Oh, that one was hard. And I'm going to do the same thing to this one. What if I open it? Maybe it won't be so... Oh, but then it won't fit. Oh, I don't want to pull out my other cutting board. Let's see how well we did. Not too bad. We did good. So pop that down there, throw that out. Okay, now we can come back. But before, let me let me um, distress them real quick before I sew them in place. Where are we in time? Okay, we're good. I want to be able to put the whole thing together and um, so you guys could see how we 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 managed to do that. <laughs> So I'm just doing uh, uh, just the edges. I think I'm going to have to change my little... Ah! Sorry, guys. Can't stop until it's, it's dead. <laughs> okay. So this side, oh, I'm so excited because I don't know how or what pockets I'm going to put in, but I'm excited. I love starting new projects. How are you guys? Do you guys like to start new projects? I love it. Just the construction of it, you know, especially when you don't know, you know, you get a kit and you don't know like, oh, how am I going to do this? You know, like I don't like to do just repetitive, repetitive. If I could just come up with ideas and list them up, that would be like the best job for me. <laughs> I just like to, uh, I don't want to use the word invent, but you know, like make pockets, make stuff like that, and then move on to another one. I don't like to sit there and, and duplicate them over and over and over I mean, there's times where, yeah, I'm not going to lie, I do enjoy it, but there's times, most of the time, I don't. I just want to, oh, I want to, I want to um, do something else now, like something different. And um, so, yeah, that's, that's just me. I don't know if you guys are like that, but that's me. Oh, you are still going to die. Sorry, guys don't mind me this is something between me and that little net <laughs> okay so I think I'm good because over here I didn't distress that much but that's okay because that's easy uh, to distress it'll be in the end so let me try to just distress this real quick I would have had everything already ready but because like I said this is something that just popped in my head there's so many ideas you can go with it that are in my head and I'm going to try to bring them all out. <laughs> so, so far the journal one and this one. side I'm trying to go as fast as I can and that is why I have hand problems because I don't know how to relax
and then uh, you know timing watching the time doesn't help either okay so the inside I think I'm good so pop that now out here These are cool because they're, um, you know, they're nice and sturdy. So, okay, we're finally done. So now I'm going to go back and paper clip these so they won't be on my way. Oops. Um, but there's one thing. They're open on the top. Do we want to leave it like that to insert a large tag, maybe? The only one is this one because I want to use this as a pocket. So I definitely have to seal this. But do we want to leave the pockets in on the top? What do you guys think? Or even like this is my my front right you could even open that side yeah I think I'm gonna do that so I am just gonna I'm gonna um, should I stitch yeah I'm gonna st uh, do a quick stitch on the top and on the bottom so it doesn't look weird but I'm not gonna stitch on the sides because like I said here we have a pocket here we're gonna open it but you need to do that first before I start sewing so let me and like I said just a, a teeny sliver just to open the envelope I'm gonna have the distress right there again the same thing for this one so we have two pieces that are identical there now I'm gonna do a quick stitch where am I okay let me hurry up let me put that down there and grab this. Do we want to zigzag or straight? Straight. So let's do this. Let's do this, guys. Oh, I just remembered I switched the the thread. I would have wanted the dark brown. Oh well. It's our prototype. It'll still look good, but I think the black thread, I mean brown thread would have been so much cooler. Okay. Pull that out. Cut that. Cut that. Now this side. One down, one to go. side and we are back in business.
Okay, guys. Get these little. Okay, now we're back in business. I want to put this one together before the time runs out. So again, we're going to put our little paper clips so that our little pockets don't bug us. Then this one. Oh, there it is. Like where to go. Okay, so again, that's the one I had measured. See, I got a wrong, the wrong thing. <laughs> keep going, keep going, Patty. So at least now we know we weren't going, we weren't going crazy. Okay, so we have one like this, and we said like this, right? So they're both like this. We're just flipping one around, and bam. No. This way. Oh, this way. And this one, where's my fold? So, yeah, like that. Now we need to get these little thingies here. Well, maybe some smaller ones. We don't need them that huge. To keep our little folder from moving. I love these little things and. I actually have managed to lose a lot of them <laughs> in my garage somewhere put away. I don't know where. So I had to buy some extra ones. Okay, so we want it, like I said, on the on the middle score line. So we're gonna try to center this as best as we can. Let me go in here. Let me bring it down a little bit, guys. I just want to be able to see. And I'm thinking there. That little thing, I swear it's messing with me. It's doing it on purpose. It's just like, zoom, right in my face. <sighs> Sorry, guys. It's getting personal here. Okay, so. Just make sure... I'm in line. Yeah, I'm in line. Pop you there. On this side, we're good. Nope, this side we're not. Okay, why are we in line here? Oh, we were in the wrong line over here. Sure, that goes there, and our line is right there. I think this one may be a little, bring it a little down. Okay, I think we're good. Oh. Okay, we're good. I think we're good with this. So now we need our needle and thread. And well, I'm going to use this white one. Because it's an it's just like right here. And it's really, ah, it's really good thread. I found this at a, at a thrift store. I think it's 100% cotton. It's really, really sturdy. But I don't want it too white, so I'm just going to run my little thread real quick through the...
just a distress, just to give it a little bit of a, not too white. Okay, so now this has a big eyelid, so I can see. Get those out of the way, and I need my pokey thingy. And let's start poking. So again, just making sure I'm on the right one. I have to just make sure I don't sew it wrong. It would be sad that I get this far and then I end up using it on a, or popping a wrong one. Whoops. Okay, and I'm just going to, you know, guesstimate. Okay, that one's good. I'm going to say about there. It's like about what? Half an inch to an inch maybe from the top. That one's good too. And then here. Okay, so we got that done. So now we're going to get our needle. And I'm going to start from the back. Because like I said, I want to hide my, um, my thread. And then to the top. And then all the way to the top one. And then back at the middle. And put my needle back. I don't want to lose it. Make sure we're good. And Hold on, work with me. I want to make sure I have this in the middle, which I do. And I'm going to do a double. Okay, that was only one. Yeah, I think I used too much thread, huh, guys? I know, I could hear you guys telling me, you're just wasting it. It's good thread. I know. Let's pretend that didn't happen. So now, take these off. Cut these little things off that are on my way. And now we can take our, our paper clips, I think. I just realized something. I wanted to put some lace on the bottom before I sewed the... the these little thingies and I just realized I didn't do that <laughs> okay so that's gonna go there now we could enforce this side now I'm going to attempt to use my ruler instead of my scoreboard so from there And then that one, where is it? I can't really see them. You can see them up here. Okay, maybe it'll be easier to do it this way. And then the next one just to make it more flexible. Yeah. And then the middle one. I should have left the paper clips on, huh guys? <laughs> okay, you're back on. You're not cooperating. And that one there there so now we are at 50 minutes so what I'm going to do 
put my paper clips first. I'm going to stop right here. And we will continue on the next video. Um, putting uh, our pretty paper and figuring out what exactly we're going to do with these pockets. So for now, I will let you guys go. Um, I will see you guys in my next video. You guys take care. God bless. Bye.